Well, today could have been a lot better. Um, but, you know, new clubs. And uh, there's a big learning curve. All right, so I'm here on hole number one. <laughs> I got a little chipping practice in at the beginning of the day and uh, hit a uh, really good forward off the tee to the middle of the fairway. Hit a really good pitching wedge from what read 121, but now I'm wondering if I got the wrong yardage because I came up almost a full club short. It is a little cold out here today and these are new clubs, so we'll see how this goes. Left a little short. I tried to get cute with it and get it close, but I got a, I don't know, about a seven or eight foot putt here for par. So they got little pieces of fun noodle around the flag in the bottom of the cup to prevent, whoa, wind's picking up, prevent the ball going all the way into the cup to try and cut down on the germs and all that. Okay, uh, this is a 325 yard par 4. Wind is blowing today. I'm going to hit the 4 iron first time. Let's see how it goes. Definitely not the greatest strike in the world, but uh, not awful either. We'll see how it is when I get up there. I feel like I'm pretty short from where I wanted to be. Struck pretty well, but it hit it a little bit left on me. That's okay though. All right, finally got a birdie putt. Quite a few bogeys so far on the card. <laughs> uh, the woods are really, I think I'm trying too hard. I gotta calm down. Quit trying to uh, to make a swing and just let a swing happen. That's really been a key for me and I've kind of lost it on these first few holes.
birds have not been treating me right today. I don't know why, because the other day they were money. The other week, I should say. But I'm going to keep fighting through it. definitely better than what I've been getting so I'll take it not the best strike well this is a short par 4 but I'm going to hit a driver anyway because I've got to get my woods in order something ain't right It's not my worst wood of the day, but it's not perfect either. to the right <laughs> what else can we say bad Today was uh, enlightening. The clubs did very well. Uh, I'm gonna have to get used to the different lofts. Um, I hit some really solid iron shots today. Some that were a little thin, uh, maybe some that were a little fluffy. So I had a wide variety of shots, which I guess is good in the sense that um, you know I kind of see what good and bad can be. But there were several times out on course when I was shooting like a yardage of say 125, 128, somewhere in that neighborhood, and that's normally a pitching wedge for me. Um, and I tried playing a nine iron on those the first couple of times, came up short. Uh, tried playing an eight iron a couple of times and came up short sometimes, but not all the time. And I tried not to judge it by the shots that were not well struck but by the shots that felt middled, the shots that felt solid. Um, and I know that modern clubs are usually about two clubs worth of loft stronger than the old clubs. So that's why I was kind of thinking, you know, pitch a wedge might be an eight iron. It's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time to really kind of develop with these. Uh, but overall, the irons were really sound. Uh, the, the feeling you get from them when you strike one well, 
is as good as anything you can imagine. Uh, the flight, the flight line on them, I was thinking, well, with these higher lofts, they're going to be ballooning up in the air. Really not the case. Um, the shafts in these being X100 shafts, it's a little bit out of my league. Uh, I, I'm just not that fast with it. So I'm starting to wonder if maybe I'm just not getting enough of the flex and then the, the unload, the, the sort of load and unload in the shaft that you normally get by flexing the shaft and, and swinging down through it. Uh, I wonder if maybe I'm not flexing the shaft quite enough and that's why I'm getting sort of a lack of power. Um, but the shots were really crisp. I had a lot of good crisp ones today. Hit some not so good ones too. Uh, you know, there is a learning curve with them. Um, but the, the irons were really the, the better part of my game today. What really let me down and what gave me trouble today was a surprise was the woods. Because I played the woods last time in my black and white episode and uh, you know, they were really sound. And I was a little bit worried about the irons. But today the woods, they, they just kind of let me down. I, I think it was just me. I was trying to do too much. I think the first round playing with them, I had really low expectations. And now my expectations have been recalibrated. So I expect a little bit more. I expect a certain level of performance out of them. And in doing so, I think I just kind of went after them a little bit too much. Uh, I was going after it. And I think that's just uh, it, it's something that will go away. I think it was just a today thing. Uh, the putter, the putter with the old title is Bullseye Putter. Uh, it's really good, but what I do notice is, is that uh, if I catch it in the middle, a pure strike with the putter, um, it's a rocket. If I catch it a little bit out of the middle, it's really dead. So um, I'm not sure that the putter is going to stay in the bag. I'll, I'll play around with it a little more, but I'm not sure that it's going to stick around in the bag. Phil Rogers, Cobra Wedges. Uh, love these. These are excellent around the greens. I didn't really hit any full shots or even three quarter shots with them, but hit some half shots, some pitches, some chips. Uh, really good. I think I need to get the loft checked on these, however. One of these is marked to 56, and the other one's marked to 60. And uh, I don't know. I think maybe they've been bent and altered to a different loft. So I need to get those checked. Uh, also, the 60, really the, the grooves in it are a little bit more worn down than the 56. So the 60 is definitely more of a fly it in there and try and get it to land softer, but it's going to roll out club. Whereas the 56, I could play that a little bit lower and get it to check with a little bit of, a little bit of the groove club ball interaction uh, is a little bit better with that. But at the end of the day, I didn't keep score. I hit several balls on a couple of holes and, you know, played around, put them in different lies. This was really about experimentation. If I had to take a guess what I would have shot today, it would probably not have been that great because I didn't get off the tee very well. So probably somewhere in the 85 to 90 range is what I would have shot, which is a really high number. Um, but again, I don't really know. I didn't keep score. I, I, I kind of kept track of some fairways and some greens, but even that after a while, I was like, ah, oh, you know, forget the scorecard. I just put it away. I'm trying to get my distances down. I'm trying to get a feel for everything. I was trying to get the wood straightened out. You know, chipping around the greens, playing different shots out of some bunkers, you know, things like that. So, uh, all in all, it was a really, a really fun round. It was a really fun day. These clubs are going to be spectacular. Uh, next time, I've got to get out with the Cobra irons, though, and uh, I've got some woods I want to show you. Uh, so, the next time I come out and play, the next thing I film, hopefully, it's going to be with the new Cobra mild steel irons. And I've got some surprises for you that I haven't told you about yet, but um, it's going to be pretty, pretty exciting. I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to, to give those a try. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you next time.